In this video, we will go through some of the basic steps in more close up. We will also try to show you some tips and tricks and some of the other special products how they are supposed to be installed. Starting out with a typical outside miter core, and here we definitely recommend that you use one hanger per side. And uh, should this not be possible due to the construction, please look at the installation instruction on page 22, which uh, shows you basically how you can turn the bead of the miter into one of the gutters. You don't need to caulk, you can simply put a gutter connector on the outside and that will give you a very strong connection and uh, a good installation. The self-locking fascia hanger uh, has two holes for installation. You start with the top right hole which is round and the bottom left hole is oval and that allows you to adjust uh, the hanger to get a great installation every time. The miters are connected to the system with a gutter connector. Just like you connect the gutters, you connect the gutters and the miter, miters in the same way. The leaf chute is a great product if you want to keep your underground pipes uh, clean of leaves and debris. It basically installs straight into the underground pipes. Be sure to put your downspout about 4 inches above uh, the top of the leaf chute. And then you add uh, the drain tile extension, which actually slides on the outside of the downspout. This allows you to remove the chute should you have to. And it also closes off the whole installation and makes it look very aesthetically appealing. The inline diverter is a great product if you want to save water for usage later. It basically installs anywhere you want it into the downspout, takes up about 9 inches of space. And uh, after installation, you can choose to have the tongue folded out to fold it up, depending upon if you want to save water or if you have your water barrel full. It's a great feature for uh, collecting water that you can use later. The branch pipe is another great uh, product if you need to uh, have two downspouts come into one. It basically installs in the same way as the inline diverter does. And this specific branch pipe, uh, you can have the incoming pipe at the angles between 50 to 80 degrees, which uh, gives it a lot of flexibility. This is a close-up of uh, the gutter connector. As you can see, the EPD and rubber has two internal flanges that gives you a pretty good uh, visual aid of uh, how much you want to leave between the gutters. You also have the mark in the back to kind of center the whole product. Be sure to line that up in the middle, uh, pull the tab over, hold the lock locking pin with your finger, close it in, adjust it, and then you just simply lock it in place and you're good to go. That's all you need to do. The universal end caps have a similar type of EPD and rubber that actually grips on really hard on the gutter. They have four flanges and a much sturdier type of EPD than the gutter connectors. You can either just slap it on with your hands or here like Jan is showing just use a rubber mallet. Once it's on we can guarantee it does not leak and it's hard, hard, really hard to come off. The roof hanger is a great product if you have access prior to your roofing material comes on or if you would like a fascia board to install on. Smackna recommends the slope to one inch per 32 feet and uh, that's what we do as well. Mark your hangers with numbers. This is just to remind you in which order they are to be installed and makes it much easier when everything is lying in the box. Use the hanger bender provided by us. Line it up on the mark and bend it to the roof slope that you need or any other roof bend that is available on the market works fine as well. These instructions you can find on pages 14 and 15 in our installation instructions. The fascia hanger with tab can, besides your traditional vertical fascia installation, also be used for sloped fascia installation. You simply uh, bend the tail of the hanger forward and in this uh, video we're showing you we actually add a little PVC coupling to get the right uh, dimensions. Uh, put the hanger in backwards and bend it to the 
slope that you need it to be. In this typical installation, you don't have to mark the hangers. You uh, install them like you would install any other fascia hanger. So use a string line, a chalk line, or simply measure it out. You simply lay the gutter into the hangers and start by pushing the forward tab down Put your hand into it and press it down into the bottom of the hanger and fold the back tabs down and you're good to go.